Hi, I'm Kaylin Richardson, a World Cup alpine ski racer turned professional big mountain skier. And I totally agree with you. It is not always easy to know what to wear skiing, whether you're new to the sport or a seasoned veteran like me. There are all kinds of factors, precipitation, terrain, even who you are skiing with. I know that cruising groomers with my mom requires different gear than lapping powder runs with my nephews. So where to start? Keep it simple. Three words, three layers. Base layer, mid layer, outerwear. Three quality layers that complement one another. Giving your body room to breathe and move is key to comfort, warmth, and protection. Let's start with the foundation, the base layer. When skiing, it's all about comfort. And comfort for me is all about staying dry. You've probably heard about wicking material, right? Wicking fabric requires your body heat to evaporate moisture, which means if you are cold or you are in a cold environment, wicking loses full effectiveness. Well, leaf of fiber is special in that it doesn't wick moisture. Instead, it transfers it from your skin to the outside of the base layer, meaning there won't be damp fabric laying against your skin. Dry skin equals comfort in the mountains. And beyond the technical stuff, my Leaf of Merino base layer is just ridiculously comfy. The greatest endorsement I can give it is to say that after skiing, I often stay snuggled in my base layer all evening long. <laughs> Moving on to layer number two, the mid layer. What is the purpose of a mid layer? It's all about warmth. The goal is to maintain an optimal temperature with minimal effort. However, the bulkiest insulator does not always equal the warmest insulator. A mid-layer design for layering is a thing of beauty. My Leaf Loft Air insulator is super low volume, yet incredibly warm because it is designed to trap and utilize my own body heat instead of just thickening a layer between my body and the elements. Thicker doesn't always mean warmer. A thinner insulator provides far more mobility, which is important in a mid-layer. You can always shed a layer, but because the design is so versatile, most of the time, all you need to do to stay regulated is to open some jacket vents. The warmth and versatility is built in without weighing you down. And finally, we have come to the third layer, outerwear, also known as the jacket. For ski jackets, it's all about protection. They are the first line of defense against the wind, snow, rain, and cold. What separates a great jacket from the rest is a great jacket's ability to be both highly protective and highly breathable. Without a breathable jacket, your body vapor can't escape properly. In the mountains, the best performing jackets are windproof, waterproof, and breathable. My Elevation Infinity Shell Jacket adapts incredibly well as my activity level and the weather conditions fluctuate. It gives me unmatched protection against the elements while still allowing my body to breathe. Breathable ski jackets keep you dry from the outside and the inside. Moisture is the enemy to staying warm, and a great ski jacket conquers all. There you have it. Keep it simple. Three layers and you're ready to go in a snap. So layer up, be smart, and have an absolutely fantastic time in the mountains, no matter what.